What's the impact of switching to high sensitivity troponin in the ED? Um, so this group, it's EM Kaiser, a group out of uh, California, so here in our this great state. Um, they wanted to take a look and see in the two months prior to switching to high sensitivity troponins in their ED, uh, and then also five weeks after switching, whether there was any change. Was there an increase in uh, utilization of uh, tools? Are, they, are you admitting more? Are you sending more home? Like What ends up happening uh, when you compare the groups of patients that are showing up for chest pain that are now being uh, evaluated using a high sensitivity troponin. They found that there were, that they found more MIs with high sensitivity troponins in the second, like set in the five weeks after implementation, that the mortality was unchanged and they had admissions and testing that went down, which is a little bit counterintuitive, you would think that the admissions would actually go up if they're finding more potentially. Um, but one of the things that when you look into the data, it looks like the patient group in general that was seen beforehand in the two months before were sicker patients in general, older, more comorbidities than the group that they uh, use the high sensitivity troponin for it and afterwards in the five weeks afterwards. So I don't know that the author's conclusions in this um, paper alone would tell me that it's truly decreasing our utilization because I think in just in the conversations that we've had in all of the previous talks that we've done uh, for this course, we've heard that it's actually seemed to like increase uh, utilization and increase admission. So this seems a little bit counter to what I've heard in general. And again, I'm coming from a site that does not have high sensitivity troponins, 